Okay, so let's get back into the into the with you types of things. Now, I have reviewed Kingdom Hearts 3 and I'm needed to review the other games, but I won't be reviewing just the games, I will be reviewing the collections because I've not got no time for that. But that will be in other videos. Today we are reviewing Kingdom Hearts, the VR Experience Part 1. And reason being this is a Part 1 is because in the description of the PlayStation Store, it has confirmed that additional scenarios will be added via a update within this year. So, um, yeah, here's the intro. Previously announced at E3 and then delayed um, at least two times, it was first released in Japan in January, but then a month after that in February it was officially released and it had English voices and English stuff all around. Now from what I know it, it only released to the Europe countries and the UK. I don't know if it got released to America or not, so I won't say anything about that. Now, with this VR experience, there's no story, but like what the trailer said, that it will be going into different Kingdom Hearts games, this is what it's doing. In this VR experience, you are basically looking through as the main character of um, Kingdom Hearts 3 and also Kingdom Hearts, which is Sora. It plays the starting point it does of one of the scenes from Kingdom Hearts 3 and also uh, 0.2. And then it switches to Kingdom Hearts 1, where you're on Destiny Islands and it plays a couple scenes and then it has this lovely showcase and then you're done but you get a little glimpse of what Twilight Town will look like. Okay so overall what do I think about this? Well when I first heard about this about this coming out I was so goddamn excited because after coming off Kingdom Hearts 3 I just wanted more and we got more. If you're wondering if this is a pay thing or a free thing you can download this for free. And I know many people will be turned off by this because it's VR. Like, most people don't like it. But for me, I'm different. I honestly quite liked it. And the showcase was, look, I know many people just think, oh, you don't get to anything. It says experience in the title. When it says experience, it doesn't mean you'll literally be holding a keyblade. Get that for your head. But anyway, I love the showcase. It, honestly, I think a tear drop, considering that that's the same, like, song that they used during that showcase in Kingdom Hearts 3's um, ending. But look, what do I give this? I give this a 9 out of 10. It's not perfect, but we'll see how things go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.